Hello, this is Dury Quill, and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge for the 7th of November. Today we are bringing in three Glitcher Officers while being seen as little as possible. We are shaky, weak, and tough. And then we've got a Concussive, Armor Piercing... I uh, don't know if that's a rifle or a shotgun. I hope it's the shotgun. Uh, crash Beam, which is great, and Key Cloner, which is great. And it is Concussive. Yeah, it's just an armor piercing gun. Alright, so that is not ideal. Because uh, we are shaky and we cannot use melee weapons. Well, let's see how it goes. Alright, explosive, glitch dash. Alright, this will be interesting. in a great position for looting. Yeah, I've got time. I'm gonna let them circle around. It's taking a bit longer than I expected, but got some nice music. All right, that looks good to me. But five seconds is still okay. All right, our first one is pretty easy. Unless they get too close. Or not. Oh, this is silenced. All right, that is helpful. From here, key card is way off over there, or fairly close over there, or I can use a key cloner. I think I do want to use one for this. Where's the pilot? Autopilot. It's a shame that we can no longer use uh, remote manipulation. That would be a little bit handy right here. Okay, I need to be seen as little as possible, which makes taking care of the explosive guy very difficult. Unless I lead them over here. And then I need to catch 
pressure, so I need to wait for this to recharge. Which trap is nice. Doesn't get out of range. Alright, 20 seconds for not having anything that like greatly increases my speed seems pretty good. Carrying people could have. Yeah, it's annoying. Could have items on them. So I want to visit each of them. And I do not want to use a lethal weapon, if at all possible. Are you kidding me? Okay. I've got. Okay, that did hit. If that didn't, I was going to be a bit upset. Next mission, heat sensors, light reinforcements, pass jammer gates. Alright. I'll let that pass a little bit. Second dock, very nice. I can't remember the last time I've done that. Um, so the reinforcements are coming from there. don't want it doesn't take the defender that far to get to the target at any rate I want to start with stilt shields here and crash beams
bad. I don't care about your life right now. Okay, and then going to these guys will be much faster. And the key carrier is even coming out to join me. Enforcements. I do care about that. Uses. I'm glad I have multiple guns. Alright, shotgun is good to have. And we'll send you here. Sorry, I'm not talking a whole lot. It is like a bit past midnight right now. I'm just getting this done before I go to bed. Last. Uh, it's a good thing I don't care about being seen right now. But it's still fun to. Try to not be seen. And nothing over there. Let's see who had the key card. I think, yeah, they did. a super shotgun? It is. That is very nice. Swapper. Too bad it's too late to use that to swap into any ships. But it's still useful. And another stealth shield. I don't think I'll be needing that. Then I don't need... Ooh, having a concussive shotgun would be helpful. I 
I apparently don't know how to do this. Alright. And don't hold fast forward because they might throw themselves out. to do there was swap or crash him and then swap so the defender shoots themselves all right take that over quiet gun and I think that's all I want from here Shotguns, random guards, target fleas, tracker, jammer, lifelink. I haven't seen that one in a while. Um, were there jammer gates? No. So I'm probably fine with just the five use stealth shield. But if there's anything here that I don't need, it might be worth taking to. Yeah, I think I'd rather have pretty much any of these than another stealth shield. And that arrow is close. Okay, we're, we're safe. an extra door there is it doesn't get us all that much closer to the target but if we can't swap in or uh, key clone in it's easy enough to get back to the primary entry to the door. So after we grab that, we can go through both of these doors and on through this one to the pilot. We set off the alarm. They're going to the telepad. And in order to get up there, we'd need to move. I think we could keep going up from there. And as for this route, we just grab the key, go down. Uh, grab the key and clear them out. And then we'd have our choice of going either way, and we could set off the alarm to not worry about the fourth security. Alright, well let's get started with this first room. Armor, okay. I should check if the target's armored. They're not. Alright, let's blast them.
mystery. Now, do we want them to set off the alarm now? Got one, two, three, four, five. About ten or eleven. Double check how how far the key cloner goes. So it need to be just over one room. So yeah, that's plenty. And then it's just a question of whether or not I can walk up there and then down before they get to there. I'm not confident on. However, if if they are getting too close, I can swap with them. And I can also visit. Alright. I'll let the alarm go off now. Well after shooting them again. Now we could use the telepad to get out or go through the window. I don't know if the telepad puts us both out in similar areas. But I think it would be easier to go through the window. And then I've also... Alright. I think I'll actually just use the glitch trap. And, uh, crash this just in case. Start getting this in position. I don't need glitch trap or anything. Did I miss? I caught. And then are we both in? Yes, we're both in. So I'll jet to the right. seconds. All right. There weren't any huge time saving uh, equipments. And I'm, I looted pretty much everything except for what was in the third ship. And so I feel pretty good about that score and that it'll hold up. Uh, whether or not someone else will surpass it though, even if it's by a second or so, we will find out. But I feel like I did very good there. At any rate... Let's check how I did yesterday. Um, I 
I ended up in second, with Ranico taking first. And so, one thing to know is while I captured the ship, but I had out opened the chests, uh, Ranico did the same thing, but he didn't open the chest. And what that ended up doing was it gave him a expenses score on the mission screen, but uh, not on the score in the end. But either which way, he got a much faster time than anybody else. Beat me by 22 seconds, which was very nice. Good job. And with that, I end today. <laughs> Sorry. Once again, I'm tired, but I'll see you tomorrow.